We introduce Magic VFM, Meta Learning Adaptation for Ground Interaction Control with Visual Foundation Models. Building a Dynamics Model with Terrain Information is important for control and planning. This picture, taken on Mars, shows the tracks left by the wheels of the Opportunity Rover. Due to high slip experienced by the rover, the ground control had to halt the drive and replan a backup trajectory. We develop a learning-based adaptive controller that incorporates a visual foundation model, or VFM, for terrain adaptation and an offline meta-learning algorithm that learns this terrain disturbance. Specifically, the robot's camera takes images of the terrain which are processed by a VFM trained on a very large dataset. The output of the VFM, together with the robot's state, are passed to a lightweight neural network trained on a much smaller dataset using meta-learning. At runtime, the robot queries this DNN and thus rapid adaptation of the control B matrix using adaptive control. This three-layer architecture ensures the robot uses terrain information in a comprehensive and efficient way. Next, we present simulation results that highlight the behavior of our algorithm. We create an artificial map of different terrains. Each image is passed through a VFM to create the same sized map, but with encoded features. On the right, we show that each terrain induces an artificially created control matrix residual. We collect trajectories that cover the entire map and train our meta-learning algorithm with this dataset. Here, we compare our method with the baseline, which is an adaptive control without VFM. In the second row, we see the adaptation parameters, while in the third row, we see the basis function that encodes the dynamics residual. In our method, the adaptation coefficients do not vary much, as most of the terrain disturbance is captured in the learned basis function. With our method, the error is also greatly reduced. Next, we show hardware experiments on a trucked vehicle. Here, the robot traverses two terrains in the JPL's Mars yard. On the bottom, we show the error for five experiments and their mean, with and without the terrain-informed basis function. When the robot traverses a high-slip area, like gravel, the error increases. Our method is able to outperform the baseline by around 50%. Next, we run a similar experiment on board an Ackerman steering vehicle. On the right plot, we see that the basis function learns to adapt to the two different terrains while keeping the adaptation coefficients almost constant. On the left plot, the basis function is kept constant and thus the adaptation coefficients need to change in real time, which causes higher tracking errors at terrain transitions. Next, we compare our method against artificially induced track degradations. In this experiment, the robot follows a figure 8 trajectory while having to compensate for adversarially induced track degradation. Both constant basis function and terrain informed basis function outperform a nonlinear PD controller as the baseline by about 20%. Lastly, we show results from the DARPA Link project. For Link, we run the constant basis function controller. The robot was run through a series of courses to test our control stability to reject track degradations and other disturbances, all while maintaining safety by avoiding collisions with the obstacles and rollovers. We show that without our controller, the operator is unable to accurately navigate the robot due to severe track degradations. With our controller activated, nominal behavior of the robot is restored and the operator is able to follow the chicane tracks closely and thus avoiding collisions with the walls. We would like to thank our collaborators from Caltech Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories, without whom this project would not have been possible.